Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. In this video, I'm going to be setting up November 15th through the 21st in my horizontal planner. And this is the planner I use for inspirational quotes that I hand letter myself just to keep me hand lettering and to help with my comfort level for putting pen to paper for hand lettering. Um, it actually, as much as we practice, it's not like they're erasable. So um, it is a little bit of a deep breath moment when you go to write on your page. So um, I'm gonna wait. So here's the theme we're going with this week. As you can see, there's pink on the pages, not exactly a fall color or one would think. Um, so I chose to go with Fall Rainbow from A to Z Planner Themes 2021. That's the challenge. And I'm gonna also kind of mix in a little bit of this challenge with from uh, Plan Today with Mo. Um, and it is apples, pumpkins, and florals, oh my. So not necessarily the apples and pumpkins per se, but the florals. So I was gonna go with a full on fall rainbow, like green to lime to yellow to orange to red to burgundy to brown. Um, and when I started looking through my fall sticker books, this Autumn Blooms from Live Love Posh, this page caught my eye. So it's not the entire rainbow, but it is rainbow to me. It's got pink and orange and burgundy and red. Um, so this is going to be a quick one. I also thought it would really work well with the pink that's on the page because I was like, I'm going to have to Franken plan and, and, and. Nope, we're not going to do any of that. I am going to take these two strips. There's two copies of every page. We're going to go right down the center, um, which I have not done in a while, but I just love to do it. So let's get these started. I have, I love these and I've thought to myself that I definitely want to use these for lettering. Um, I was thinking big lettering, but these aren't, these aren't long enough for a big planner. They're definitely long enough for my um, classic though. So let's see if we can get these stuck down on the first try straight. And then I'm going to do something really fun and different with my boxes for attributing the quotes to the proper authors um, that I think is going to look really nice with this. So these are just a teensy bit too long, which is totally fine. I don't even think, I don't even know if this is enough to save, but we will, of course, save it. That's what happens when you grow up on a farm in the Midwest. <laughs> you learn to be very frugal. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's getting stuck to everything, you guys. I love these big stickers, but man, they can be awkward. At least with these giant, big, clear stickers, um, well, that throws, shows through nicely. Um, there are a few little wrinkles in there, but oh my gosh, I, can't, I can only feel them. I can't see them, so I don't even think it's worth fighting with them with my palette knife to try to straighten them up. So, okay. Just wondering if I can use those little bits to help disguise this week. But um, first things first, let's grab my punch. Okay. And I'm gonna put, put them sticky side to sticky side because that helps just a little bit with getting them in and out of the punch without getting stuck. So, the only thing left is, am I going to cover this week? Um, and I could go ahead and do... Hmm, I'd need to do almost... I'd white it out. You know what, I'm just for once going to leave it because I'm just thinking about how I use this box and I write my one big word in there with my really big pen and it is the word for the week. So maybe I'll just leave this week. So I was flipping through looking for my boxes to use for the quote to who, who to attribute to and the hearts, look at this, look at these hearts. Um, they match, oh my gosh, so well, this section. So this is Colorful Shapes. I have about three copies of it combined. 
I do have a video on how I did, th did that. I will try to remember to link it in the cards up above. But I just thought, you guys, these hearts... Like, especially this one that's variegated, that go it's almost ombre. It goes from pink down to peach. Look at that. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. So I'm just going to put these... Let's see, about, let's go every other. And let's go a really, really dark one. Like that. Just right over the florals. Oh, I love it. Okay, and then let's go... Hmm. Okay, I'm going to change a little bit, and here's why. I want four... But the, one can't go there, so I'm going to move these, the two on this side, I'm going to move down. And that way I can go there and there. And that will give me four. Just snugged in among the flowers. Okay, let's do peach here, and this reddish one. I think I might have just, actually, I want the peach one down closer to that dark one. Okay, we'll put the darkest one up here and the lightest one down here. That's better. Just kind of randomly turns. There we go. I may have just set a record for the fastest horizontal spread I have ever done because honestly, you guys, that is, that is it. Um, I am thinking about, you guys will have to let me know if you're still watching and you hear this, you'll have to let me know what you think. I'm thinking about starting to film each one of these um, as a reel and uploading it to my Instagram just so you can actually see no sound or no, no explanation or anything, just kind of to see the hand lettering and fast forward. So I'm thinking about it. I'll play with it. I got to learn how to do reels first though. So anyway, I hope you like this video. Um, I hope it encourages you to try even, you know, if you don't have enough time to decorate your planner, there's no such thing as not enough time to decorate your planner, right? You can just stick washi tape across the top and bottom or down the spine or giant florals like this. I mean, this video is like five minutes long. So um, I hope this encourages you to do any kind of anything to help help you want to go back and look at your planner and use it. So I hope you like this video. If you do, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.